The News for Jack's I-Team has obtained the results of a two-year-long Department of Labor investigation into the relationship between Jacksonville Beach and the Volunteer Lifesaving Corps. For decades, the Corps provided training and volunteer lifeguards to watch the beaches on holidays and Sundays until this labor investigation led to the city disbanding the Corps. I-Team investigator Ann Maxwell joining us live with the findings of this report. Ann? That there was so much overlap between volunteer lifeguards with the Corps and those who work for Jacksonville Beach Ocean Rescue for pay, that the two are basically the same entity. The report claims lifeguards were pressured by the Corps to work for free, but a spokesperson with the Corps said that's not true. Lifeguards are actually drawn to volunteer with the opportunity to work for the city for pay. Just an added bonus. From 2019 to 2021, the U.S. Department of Labor found the city of Jacksonville Beach had 133 violations of the Fair Labor Standards Act, which guarantees the right to a minimum wage and overtime. The city was ordered to pay more than $122,000 in back wages. The investigation found virtually all of the employees working for Jacksonville Beach in recent years were also members of the Corps, and their volunteer hours were effectively free labor for the city. Past president of the Corps Board of Directors, Charles Bond, says he doesn't agree with the report's findings that lifeguards were pressured to volunteer so they could get paid work lifeguarding for the city. Because there's options out there. I mean, volunteerism is something that you, you choose to do voluntarily on your own time. And if they want to come down and be a paid lifeguard only, there are three other beaches within three miles of it that they had the option to go work for. The report also alleges a history of hazing rituals and voluntary attendance at a house party where recruits have been subject Subjected to physical abuse known as the Beltline to gain seniority with the Corps and Jacksonville Beach Ocean Rescue. A former lifeguard previously told the I-Team she ran the Beltline in 2012 when she was 16. She says new recruits were beaten with belts. You bend over, grab your ankles, say thank you sir, might I have another, and then you sprint as fast, as fast as I've ever ran in my life. It just disgusts me actually thinking about it. Bond says the Beltline used to be run in public on the beach until 1998, but core leadership doesn't condone it now. What's happened off property, I can't attest to because I'm not part of it. After the report came out, the city dissolved the core. A spokesperson for the city telling the I-Team this week, quote, the city believes that the report is an accurate account of the findings of the investigation and is consistent with federal labor laws. Going forward, it is the city's intention to fully comply with all federal labor laws and regulations as set forth by the Department of Labor. Many in Jacksonville Beach have come out in support of the Corps, with some of them speaking out at a city council meeting in February. Some recounted their experience of the Beltline with pride. The best day of my life was the day I ran that Beltline and got that blue degree. None of you ran the Beltline, so none of you can possibly think about what it's like to be us. I was the Commodore, so I ran, ran the Beltline first and last in my class. Bond says more than 2,500 people have signed a petition to let voters decide whether the Corps should continue to operate, with city-employed lifeguards no longer volunteering with the Corps. The city tells the I-Team that they have paid back all of those $122,000 in back wages. Right now, uh, litigation between the Corps and the city is ongoing, and for now, the Corps remains disbanded. Live in Jacksonville and Maxwell, Channel 4, the local station.